Hey guys, it's Qantas One here and today I'm at Sydney International Airport and I'll be flying with Jetstar on their 787 Dreamliner from here to Honolulu. So let's go check out of my hotel and check in to our flight. So now here we are inside Sydney International Airport. So this is just where you check into all your international flights and we are going to head down to the Jetstar check-in for our flight to Honolulu. So now here we are at the Jetstar check-in for our flight to Honolulu. So we've just made it through customs and security and here we are inside the international terminal of Sydney Airport. And here is one of the coolest Maccas we have in Australia, in my opinion. They cook the food up top and send it down. It's so cool. So now we're just getting some snacks because it is indeed a 10 hour flight and Jetstar don't really give out any free food. You will have to pay for it. So we're just going to get some snacks here. And there is our Jetstar flight today, JQ3 on a Jetstar Boeing 787 Dreamliner. So here is our aircraft today. It is an eight year old Jetstar Boeing 787-8 VH VKJ. And it is parked next to a Scoot 787-9 heading to Singapore. Welcome on board, your seatbelt can now be fastened, ready for departure. Smoking, vaping and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted on board. As you did, advise not go as we have around 100 fire seats on this flight. However, due to the weight and balance of the aircraft, we highly ask all passengers... So here is my seat for this 10-hour journey row 50 and the seat is 50A with a beautiful view of the wing. So now it is time to go through the seat features. You have pretty good leg room but not great but at the end of the day it is Jetstar so definitely more than I was expecting. A seat pocket in front of you, dimmable windows, a trade table that folds down and extends back and forth which clips right back up. A pretty big in-flight entertainment screen, but you do have to pay 15 AUD to get access to that. And now here is the Jetstar Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner safety card, just like any other safety card, but thought I would show it to you anyway. And now it is time to look at the menu. So they have a specific menu for just regular like domestic flights within Australia and then a menu for international flights. So that was the international flight menu and they had lots of things like models of the aircraft, just snacks, tea, coffee, and then more main meals. So there is the flight map for today's flight. We are flying from Sydney to Honolulu. And this flight should be about 10 hours and it covers over 5,000 miles. escape and flotation devices accessible from each exit. By law, you must not tamper with or remove any aircraft equipment unless authorised. <coughs> you must comply with any instructions from our crew and any signs that you see on board. Smoking is not permitted anytime, anywhere on board the aircraft, including in the bathrooms. It's our pleasure to have you on board with us today, and we hope you have an enjoyable flight. Thanks for listening. is required you must remove your face mask before putting on the oxygen mask that you don't from above you. Please ensure all cables are removed from the seat back charging point for take off. Thank you.
You will find a menu in your seat pocket which contains a variety of options, including a cancellation of hot and cold items. And we do apologize if your selection is not available. We accept all major credit and debit cards. Please be mindful that we do require the physical card for your purchase today. Please note that prepaid card, travel card, and F post cannot be accepted. You are welcome to order alcohol beverages, but they are only available for purchase from cabin crew. So please do so as possible. And be aware that drinking of your own alcohol, including duty free, is strictly prohibited. If you are finding it too difficult to decide, our us about our work favorites. Please now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's flight. If the crew can be of any assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. So now we are on our way up to our cruising altitude and I thought I would test out the 787 dimmable windows. This is my first ever time on the Boeing 787. I've only flown on a Dash 8, A320s and 737s. So it was really cool not to just have your typical window shade naturally to be able to dim your windows. I made sure to test out each setting of how dark it could get and when you went to the darkest it actually got almost pitch black, which was actually pretty cool. So now I'm just yet to test out how the A350 compares. So this is just what I'm having about an hour into the flight, just some honey sauce chicken chips and a bottle of water I got from the convenience store at Sydney Airport. Anyway, now it is time to try the honey sauce chicken chips I got from the airport. They were very, very nice and I mean, but come on, who doesn't love honey sauce chicken chips? Even though Jetstar didn't make them or sell them to me on board, they were still very, very nice. So at this point we were about two and a half hours into the flight and the sun was setting and it was some of the most incredible views I've ever seen, so just enjoy them. So now we are not very far off from landing in Honolulu. I'm, I do apologise for not filming too much on the aeroplane, but because it was an all night flight, I was very tired from just the day before and I wanted to get some good sleep so it wouldn't ruin my trip in Hawaii. But it was almost time for landing, so it is almost now time to also conclude this flight. So now just before I conclude this flight, I thought I would show you what the in-flight entertainment gets you. So if you do not pay for it, you can actually get a few things for free like radio or TV. There are a lot of videos on like traveling around Australia and also a spe specific video dedicated on what to do in Hawaii. There were heaps of games you could play. There were like seat maps and information about the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, more specifically the Jetstar one because that's what we're on. 
but there are a heap of things just to entertain you if you didn't want to pay the $15 for the in-flight entertainment. So now it is finally time to conclude this flight. So today I was flying with Jetstar on their Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner from Sydney to Honolulu. So the check-in process at Sydney Airport was not too busy. It was a little bit busy, but it only took about 10 to 15 minutes. The staff on the check-in desk were incredible. They were very nice and helped us with some questions that we had. We did exchange our money in Sydney Airport. It was just outside of the check-in, so we got our money from AUD to USD. But the flight along the whole time was incredible. The flight attendants were so nice and um, spoke to us about like what we were doing in Hawaii. Um, I didn't actually end up ordering any food, so I just had those honey soy chips, like a banana and some water. But it was a very good flight and a lot better for Jetstar than I expected. But if I were to do it again, I probably would go with a different airline just because of the extra things you don't get, like the in-flight entertainment you have to pay for. And at the end of the day, after paying for all these extras, you might as well just fly Qantas that would have flight in-flight entertainment included, baggage included. But still, if you are looking at the cheaper side, Jetstar is still a very good option for flying to, like for families that need to fly to Hawaii, but for not too expensive price. So thank you guys so much for watching and please just enjoy the landing into Honolulu.
So now as we disembark the aircraft, I'd just like to give a big thank you to you for watching this video this far. I, re I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot to grow my channel. Now I'd personally just like to apologise for not being able to get any footage inside Honolulu Airport, but it was really weird. I've never had it happen before. Like you, As soon as you disembark the aircraft and get out of the aero bridge, you just go straight down like an escalator and it's straight into customs and they don't allow filming there. So I could not film anything. The only thing I could film was just outside the airport where we were getting picked up by our taxi. So I'll just show you that now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on a video. Qantas One out. Now, just before this video comes to an end, I'd like to give a big shout out to some of my subscribers like Ben's Aviation, Ronnie Cashman, Cafe001, Outdoor Planes and Trains, Mastermind MC Zone, Johnny Boy0926, Riley the Gamer, Levi the Gamer, Question Gaming, Trevor Reports Feely87, Chese, Multisun75, No Name, RQ Caleb, Maxi underscore Taxi, Sadic YouTube Pro, and Raf is awesome. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this trip report, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.